Zidane Danny, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. In today's video, we are going to be discussing My Hero Academia. Now, real quick, before we actually start talking about this latest episode, I am going to be doing a lot of reviews in the next coming days. Like, not, like, miraculous stuff or anything, but, like, My Hero Academia, obviously, because the chapter comes out tomorrow, or I guess that's today, because... Yeah. Anyways, uh, so yeah, My Hero Academia, the latest chapter, I'm going to be discussing that tomorrow. And then I also have Volume 27 to talk about, as well as a Show It Some Love, which you're going to find that one very interesting. I'm not going to tell you what it's about yet, but needless to say, this series is a ton of fun. And honestly, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. I might also be doing some other stuff for other shows and manga and all that jazz. But, anyways, let's actually talk about My Hero Academia. <sighs> Episode 91. Which, of course, is Clash. Class A versus Class B. Now, like a lot of My Hero Academia episodes really the only differences that you're going to come across for my hero in a lot of the sense is that certain episodes are going to be a lot more well established and better paced than a lot of the manga for those of you who are unaware exactly what i mean by that basically every time that you see if you read the manga you may have noticed this but Basically, sometimes they will explain something in the previous chapter, and then they go back and redo some stuff to make it a little bit more clear. That does happen to a certain degree in the anime, but usually it only happens for that specific episode. So, for example, uh, more than likely, um, the next episode is actually going to start out exactly the same way that it started out in... Um, the manga because of the fact that that actually um, starts off by explaining uh, Shinso's quirk which it did not actually do in this episode so or a little bit better there's a lot to it and I'm not going to get into all of that right now but yeah now the only real big difference that is noticeable is right at the beginning of the episode. Um, <laughs> in the manga, uh, Aoyama just bursts into Deku's room and then has that discussion with him that we see. But in the anime, he's just barely creaking the door open. <laughs> I think the reason for this is because of the fact that they're more friends, and I don't know. There's a lot to it, but um, he's still a bit flamboyish. It's just not as extreme as it was in the actual manga, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing, but some people may actually s say that it is. But let's actually talk about what this episode is. Obviously, it's not a big theatrical thing. There's not, like, a whole bunch of fighting and this and that. No, basically, all this chapter is is just explaining, okay, here's what's going on. Here's the transition. We're going into this now. Enjoy. Basically, um, starting off with, obviously, the explanation and the discussion about Deku's quirks and how they're starting to manifest and all of that jazz, which I know that many of you guys haven't actually understood that yet, but yes, that is going to be a thing. And we'll talk about that as things get closer, and we'll, like I said, we'll talk about it. It's just taking a bit of time, and yes, Deku will be unleashing his full power pretty soon. <laughs> or actually learning more about that very soon when we actually get to his chapter. Or his episodes i don't know really how to describe it but pretty much it's self-explanatory the entire episode is pretty quick and easy to understand um 
obviously every we're meeting everyone again for the first time which i do have to say i wish that there was a little bit more <laughs> of an explanation for the different classmates um from class b but at the same time it's not as bad as you may think the fact is that this whole season is going to be or this whole half season is just going to be devoted to meeting all of these classmates because the honest fact is that we haven't really gotten to know these guys yet but they are going to be very important moving forward especially considering the fact that after the war arc things really hit the fan and it uh, honestly i can't imagine them not being at least a little bit involved so knowing all of their quirks is really going to be helpful with the continuation of the series moving forward in the manga uh there is still some stuff that has happened in the manga that they are involved with but still not very much basically like i said this is their introduction basically showing what all of them can do and how far they've come in this year, because basically all we've been seeing is Deku and his classmates and how they've grown over the past year. So this will be basically their way to show what they've done, as well as introducing them a lot better than we ever have before. Like, obviously certain characters like Monoma, Kendo, Tetsu Tetsu, um, even Pony to a degree, have all gotten little bits and pieces but nothing too extreme. Also, w one more thing I just want to mention. Please let Pony actually have, like, a an English... Uh, like, not an English, a southern accent. Like, I don't think she had one in the freaking... I don't remember if she did or did not in when she actually got introduced last season. But... Please, I'm begging you, let her have a southern accent because that just fits her character way more than it should. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty much the rest of the uh, this volume is pretty self-explanatory. And honestly, I only think that we're going to be getting maybe one more episode that's going to be devoted to this fight. And I actually think that very few of the fights are actually going to be getting more than one actual episode, or more than two actual episodes. Um, so, basically, what I'm thinking might be going on is that each fight gets, their first, uh, gets an episode, and then they get their conclusion episode, and then it's talking about transitioning into the next one. Not exactly certain for sure, but that is the possibility. <laughs> um... However, there are two exceptions. I think that there is a high possibility that Momo's fight is actually going to have three episodes because of the fact that that whole thing, however you want to describe it, is actually the longest fight in the this whole section. Most of the other fights only last for a few chapters in the manga, so that wouldn't be that much of a surprise. But Momo's fight is practically an entire manga to itself. <laughs> and it's honestly a really impressive fight that I'm real that's the one that I'm most excited to see that fight just expressed in anime form. Like obviously some of these other fights are actually really cool. Like seeing the whole stuff with Mudman is insane. <laughs> but the whole Kendo versus Momo is just honestly a truly amazing work of art and I love it. I honestly love that chapter or those chapters because it really does show how much these two girls have grown and become better heroes. I love it. I, I actually do love that. I also love the mushroom girl, but we're not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> um... But anyway, so that's that. And then there's obviously a few other fights that are going to be that could be pretty long such as Deku's fight. I actually wouldn't be surprised if Deku's fight is actually longer due to the fact that he has a lot of stuff happening. Even though the uh, the 
actual fight itself is actually pretty short when you actually read the manga. I honestly can't imagine it being shorter than two episodes just for right now because of the fact that this whole fight is just constant battles and honestly I love it. <laughs> uh, I love this whole that whole section because Deku unlocking Black Whip is honestly one of the most amazing quirks there are or situations there is and I'm excited, especially considering the fact that I'm so excited to see Shinso actually get more screen time. And to see that fight, like I said, I'm really excited. Um, also, it's a fantastic moment for uh, Ochiko Deku shippers. I don't remember... Izo uh, Izuchu? Whatever it's called. Basically, that whole relationship is mm, I love it <laughs> uh, and it re I'm honestly so excited for all of the Ochiko and Deku ship moments that are coming up in the next few chap or the next few seasons Be like, oh my gosh yeah there's a lot actually that's really insane moving forward um sorry about that <laughs> but yeah Honestly, like I said, this this episode was fun, but you haven't seen anything yet. Would I say do not watch this season um, all in one? I mean it. Basically, if you are going to be waiting to watch My Hero Academia until the entire season is done, and then you decide to binge it, do not do that. I am serious. What's coming after this fight is so massive that it's actually insane. So, if you're planning to watch this whole series as it comes out, yeah, don't do that. The My Villain Academia is so insane. On top of the fact that there's also, right around the corner is freaking the war arc it excites me a lot oh we'll talk more about the war arc and the endeavor agency arc as we get closer to those but for right now hopefully you've enjoyed this video and are looking forward to seeing more in the future to talk about my Hero Academia, Miraculous, and everything else. But anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and ring that notification bell. And even if you're not new but you just haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and ring that notification bell because only apparently 30% of the people who watch these videos are actually subscribed. So please make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And of course, if you have any thoughts or theories, please leave them down in the comments below. If you are going to leave a theory, make sure to say theory review somewhere in your comments so we can talk about it in a future video. And of course, if you want to support the channel even more, then definitely head down to the description and check out all of our links down there, including our social medias, our other channels, and ways you can support us financially, including the merch store, the book, and of course the Patreon, which a big thank you to our current patron, Sheenie. But anyways, guys, I have been Electro Ninja, and I will see you guys next time. But on!